Everybody, welcome back to another podcast you listen and today we're going to be doing lesson number eight journey to Jerusalem poetic with praise and thanksgiving they sang to the Lord he is good his love toward Israel endures forever and all the people gave a great shout of praise to the Lord because the foundation of the house of the Lord was laid Ezra 3 verse 11 PowerPoint one way that we worship God is by working together to build up his church the 70 years of the Babylonian captivity were coming to a close Cyrus the great rose to the throne and ruled the Persian Empire Daniel who had been living in Babylon during the captivity had left a positive impression on Cyrus as a noble statesman who had survived the lion's den Daniel had earned the utmost respect of the Persian Emperor now as God told the people that it was time to rebuild the temple in Jerusalem he moved upon Cyrus's heart to decree the rebuilding of the temple as it was pro- prophesied by Isaiah thus says the Lord to his anointed to Cyrus whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut I have raised up in righteousness and I will direct all his ways he shall build my city and let my exiles go free not for price nor reward says the host Cyrus was moved and determined to fulfill the divinely appointed mission so he made a proclamation throughout all his kingdom all the kingdoms of the earth the Lord God of heaven has given me and he has commanded me to build him a house at Jerusalem which is in Judah who is among you of all his people may his may his god be with him and let him go up to jerusalem which is in judah and build the house of the lord god of israel he is god which is in jerusalem and whoever is left in any place where he dwells let the men of his place help him with silver and gold with goods and livestock besides the free will offering for the house of God which is in Jerusalem people from the tribe of Judah and Benjamin including the priests and Levites and others who were impressed by God prepared to return to Jerusalem those who came to remain in Babylon encouraged them by giving the travelers their articles of silver gold livestock and other useful goods for their trip and for the temple then King Cyrus brought out the temple utensils that Nebuchadnezzar had taken 30 gold platters 1000 silver platters 29 knives 30 gold basins or basins 410 silver basins 1000 other articles 5400 of gold and silver articles all these items were brought from Babylon and were being returned again to Jerusalem the number of people who left Babylon were nearly 50,000 people along with 736 horses 245 mules 435 camels and 6,720 donkeys 
Those staying behind gladly supported those who were leaving. They were happy for the families that were returning to their homeland. After several hot days of traveling across the desert, the travelers finally came to the top of a hill and beneath them lay the city of Jerusalem, Zerubel, uh, the governor of Judah, who led them, called everyone together. They prayed together, thanking God for the safe passage back to their home county. The people praised God joyfully for his care, protection, and guide. After the prayer, Zerubbabel began to give instruction. Excitement ran high as the group separated into smaller clusters of people. At first, everyone returned to the village where their ancestors had lived before. They had been taken into captivity. In a few months, however, everyone returned to Jerusalem. Zerubbabel and Joshua decided to rebuild the altar of God. Soon, everyone was called together and sacrifices were made. Then the priests and the leaders gathered the people and celebrated the feast of the tabernacles according to what was written in the book of the law they gathered tree branches and built their shelters on rooftops in courtyards in squares and in the temple courts in the temple's courts the people rejoiced greatly and celebrated the feast of the tabernacles once again in Jerusalem. So many years of captivity in Babylon. This, this is the end of today's Apostles for Christ Junior Lessons. You know, I was so happy to see the people of Jerusalem go back to their homeland after be being in captivity in Babylon uh, yeah make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe and until next time